I'm Gopan Shivashankaran. I lead the business for SecureWorks in the Middle East, Turkey and Africa region. I've been here for last 10 years with SecureWorks and overall in the cyber security space for about 20 years. I don't see this year very different. It is just that it is getting more matured and matured. Threat actors are getting better and better at what they do. And as people who try to defend, we also need to get better and better at what we do. Right? So I, I see ransomware being the number one uh, attack mode, uh, where we see continuously ransomware attacks in our region. Uh, as we speak, we've got a number of incident response engagements. SecureWorks is engaged locally in the region. We see business email compromise, a big time uh, area. Uh, so I would say that it is getting uh, matured. We don't see people with uh, who wear hoodies doing the threat actor operations rather than it is people who wear suit and tie. Uh, the people who are operating in this space are professionals. People who create the ransomware is different from the people who are distributing it. And people who are distributing is different from the people who are negotiating it. So it's a very professional, thorough mode of operations from ransomware. And that I don't see that going down. It will get only increasing power as we move forward. Well, I would say uh, two different angles to that question. One is that uh, should enterprises try to do this in-house versus outsourced, right? So trying to do it in-house is a very tedious task in terms of not only from a cost perspective, but also to retain talent. How do you train and make sure that these people are, uh, the employees whom they employ are still very motivated to work for so-and-so banks, so-and-so oil and gas companies or manufacturing organizations. But that is not their core business. Their core business is something else, not cybersecurity. So how do you keep them motivated? Now, assuming that we decide that we are going for a outsourced model, I still see organizations still looking at a very old, traditional approach of uh, SIM-based MSSP model. I personally said that won't scale. So you need to look at XDR as a technology, which is not just uh, infusing uh, the alerts into one platform, but beyond that, you need to look at raw telemetry from your endpoint, network cloud, everything to one big data platform, and you connect the dots. And you need to have a managed XDR service flavor on top of that, which includes your 24 by 7 security monitoring, investigation, unlimited incident response, threat hunting, customer success, various elements to that whole service wrapper around it. And I think uh, there is enough compelling reason for organizations to choose a managed XDR over A, in-house, or B, MSSP, SIM-based MSSP models.